Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Thursday the 31st of August. India matters most to the world, says Jay Shankar on G20 presidency. Weakening of Taliban regime will harm everyone, says Muttaki. Hindus in Nepal mark festival of threads, Janai Purnima. And now for all the details, Foreign Minister S. J. Shankar on Thursday termed India's presidency of the G20 as different and said it comes at a moment when India has become important for the world. Addressing an event in New Delhi, Jay Shankar said today the world perceives India as a responsible and innovative nation which is driving global progress. New Delhi is set to host the crucial G20 summit on September 9 and 10. Jay Shankar said India has demonstrated a capability of helping other countries and therefore India's G20 presidency has expectation and responsibilities which are very exceptional. So, in the eyes of the world today, it is our economic achievements, it's our technology capabilities, it's our talent pool, it is actually our capabilities and it is a fact that all of this is done as a democracy. This combination puts India in a very special position and therefore India's presidency of the G20 has expectations and responsibilities which are very exceptional. The Foreign Minister also called for reforms in the UN Security Council and said exclusion of the world's most populous country and the fifth largest economy out of the council raises question on its credibility. So, history is on our set. I can tell you, it, UN will change. The people, the countries, the people, the forces who are blocking it will keep trying. But eventually it will happen. The Indian government on Thursday informed the Supreme Court that it is ready for elections in Jammu and Kashmir any time now, adding that the call will be taken by the Union Territory and Central Election Commissions. On the day 12 of hearing on Article 370 in the top court, Solicitor General of India Tushar Mehta said that the Union Territory status is temporary. However, he refrained from specifying a time frame for granting back the statehood. After revoking Article 370 of the Indian Constitution in 2019, Jammu and Kashmir state was bifurcated into two federally administered territories, Jammu region and Kashmir Valley comprising one and the Buddhist enclave of Ladakh forming the other. The court has been emphasizing the need to restore democracy in the region which has been without an elected government since 2018. Moving on, members of the Christian community in the Netherlands held a massive demonstration on Wednesday to express their anger and concern over August 16 attack on churches and Christian settlements in Pakistan. The vandalism started over allegations of desecration of Islam's holy book by two Christian brothers. The incident put a spotlight on the draconian blasphemy law, which critics blame is often misused against minorities to settle personal scores. The protesters in Netherlands said the repressive blasphemy law creates a climate of hostility against religious minorities and fertile ground for radicals to wreak havoc. They called upon the European Union to assess Pakistan's compliance with its human rights obligations before extending its GSP plus status, a trade concession it has been enjoying since 2014. Moving on, meanwhile, the soaring prices of foods and essential items have continued to trigger unrest in crisis in Pakistan, shattering people's hope of an economic recovery soon. The government secured a $3 billion IMF loan in late June, but the bailout has come with painful measures such as increase in fuel and electricity tariffs. Residents of Karachi city said they have not seen any relief yet, while the inflationary storm has shaken their domestic budgets. एक सौ साठ जा रही है चीनी, आटा भी बहुत महंगा है, और ये बिजली के बिल इतने आ रहे हैं कि हम खाना खाएं या बच्चों को पढ़ाएं या बिल भरे the frequent price hikes are likely to have political implications as the caretaker government is tasked with steering the country's 
through a national election that is in theory due to take place by November. इनको कहे कि महंगाई का सास है गरीबों का कहे का सास है उनको तो प्याज का पूछ उनको रेट का भी नहीं पता होगा ये तो गरीबों को पता है कभी उन्होंने खरीदा इस चीज को भाई किसी से कोई भी शिकवा गीला करने की जरूरत नहीं है वहां को खुद सोचना है खुद फैसला करना है कि इनका जो इलेक्शन है अभी सर पे है उस पर किसको चुनना है किसको वोट देना है Taliban acting foreign minister Amir Khan Muttaki has said that the Afghan soil is not a threat to any country and international community should have a moderate policy towards the Islamic Emirate. Muttaki said there is no opposition in Afghanistan and this opportunity should be used. He also called for releasing Afghanistan's assets abroad and lifting sanctions as well as economic cooperation by the international community. No foreign government has formally recognized the Taliban's regime so far. Despite promising a moderate administration, Taliban has imposed its strict interpretation of the Islamic law by enforcing harsh rules, banning girls' education, and barring Afghan women from public life and most work. And Hindu devotees in Nepal throng the banks of sacred rivers to take a holy dip and offer prayers to Mark Janai Purnima. Take a look. Hindus in Nepal on Thursday gathered on the banks of the sacred Bagmati River and offered prayers at the Pashupatinath Temple on the occasion of Janai Purnima, the festival of threats observed on a full moon day of the monsoon month of Shravan. On this occasion, the Tagadharis, Brahmins, Chetris, and Vaishyas performed the annual ritual of changing Janau, the sacred thread which is worn across their chest. Those who don't wear janal receive the raksha bandhan thread, which is tied around the wrist as an amulet, a symbol of protection from fear and diseases. The prayer of janai uh, gets uh, wisdom, prosperity, strength, and many other virtues granted by our religious scripts. You know, and as a Brahmin, that's something that you need to wear. And when I was young, I had a ceremony called Brathamanda, and after that ceremony, I was handed this janai. You know, and told that. Uh, I should wear this, you know, so I can have all those virtues. Um, I think it's symbolic. I think virtues are earned, you know, by the good work that you do in society and in the world. Uh, but I think it's also important that you continue those uh, religious traditions, you know, uh, and keep your culture alive. Similarly, young priest called Batuks also got initiated at a hermitage school in Kathmandu. The young students took holy bath and chanted hymns and prayers to mark the occasion. Janav Purnima is considered a very auspicious time to initiate and accomplish significant activities as the luminous fullness of the moon represents abundance and generous blessings. General Thomas Ribeiro Paiva, the commander of the Brazilian army, got an up-close look at indigenous weapon system as he witnessed a firepower demonstration in Rajasthan's Pokhran by the Indian army on Wednesday. From main battle tank Arjun to K9 Vajra, all manufactured in India showcased their might to the visiting commander. Indigenous Akash missile system and air-ledged roof also showcased their capabilities during the demonstration. Yes, MBT Arjun 2010 is in our service and this is an indigenously developed and designed tank. If you talk about the engine, this is one of the most powerful engines, it is a 1400 horsepower engine which has an automatic transmission. तो ये किसी भी टेरेन और किसी भी वेदर की हालत में आप कहीं भी आप इसको ट्रैवल्स और ट्रैवल करा सकते हैं। इसकी फायर पावर की बात की जाए तो 120 मिम की गन है, जिसके अंदर से कई प्रकार के एम्बुलेशन फायर होते हैं और तीन दो से तीन किलोमीटर की रेंज तक किसी भी दुश्मन के किसी भी वेपन सिस्टम को बर्बाद कर सकता एंटी एयरक्राफ्ट के लिए 30 एम एम कैनान गन है जो एंटी एयर रोल में भी अपना बखूबी काम करने में सक्षम है The Brazilian Army commander is on a six-day tour to India in an effort to bolster defence ties. According to a government release, the visit marks a significant milestone in the long-standing relationship between armed forces of the two countries. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.